Hello everyone, this is Vincent, and in today's tutorial, we are going to see how to create an organic mask generator within Substance 3 Designer. So this is something that you can already do, but it implies a lot of nodes for nothing, I would say, because you can use the histogram scan non-uniform node, which makes almost everything for you. So we are going to see how to build this right now. Okay, so here we are within Substance 3D Designer. I just created an output node you know, within an empty graph, so we can start working on that. Um, what we're going to use first is a shape that will be uh, that will define our mask um, general shape that will be replaced by an input after after. So we can define whatever shape we want as an entry. Then we are going to use a noise. So for the noise, we can take whatever we want. I'm going to take something like, I don't know, this fractal sum, for example. I don't know, yeah, we'll see. The original way, one of the most common way that to, to blend these two was to, well, use a blend mask, for example, like that. I will actually put this on in foreground and this as background, and I would do a subtract. That was the old way I was doing that, like that. So it was starting to work, uh, but as you, you may notice that, first of all, the noise is up upside down. So this is easily fixed with an invert, but you see we start to compensate the stuff and then you could add uh, different ways to control that you could add an histogram sc scan like this changing the value first to 0 0.5 maybe pushing the contrast to get something and then you can play with that and it was giving you a, a mask so that that's working uh, still um, if you don't want an histogram you could and you really want a pure black and white you can also Use a more recent node, which is the threshold, which is fine. You see, so if if you really need a pure black and white, the th uh, the threshold is great. But actually, what I'd like to use in my case is a node called the histogram scan non-uniform. This one, and just by placing this uh, here and here, if I'm not wrong, maybe the contrary, like that. And just important, uh, just say you don't want any contrast input like this. You can start to get something interesting because now if I push the contrast and change the position, you see that I have the full control on the mask. Just with, once again, let, oops, sorry, let's organize. Well, these two, just a shape, a noise, and the histogram scan non-uniform. You don't even need any more the threshold because you can take this with the contrast. You can define the way it looks. And you need to plug that to the output, of course. And you are, we are almost done. What I'm going to do now is, let's say we have a shape which is a bit more uh, um, contrasty by default. Like, let's take a shape like this square, for example, I'm going to use a blend node like this just to cut, to use the cropping area and, and cut here like that. So if I plug that here now, you see that it does not work this way uh, uh, so well uh, because uh, there is no place, it, it needs gradients on. So what you would add in that case, it's just here, um, a blur node. HQ grayscale like this one and so it starts to get better even if here I may have some composition I want to, to change like this one but the most important here is you see that you don't want this repetition here and here so just make sure you go in the base parameter tiling mode and you remove, you put to absolute to say you don't want any timing. So this way you would have this kind of organic shape. I'm going to blur a bit more so we get a better effect, like uh, 30. And you start to get this, uh, this mask. Once again, playing with the position, 
if you put like 0 0.45, it would work. So now I'm just going to change a bit to make sure you can use it in other, other graph. To do this, I'm going to maybe, let me check something here. No, I'm going to create a parameter. So it was like that. What I'm going to do first is to create a in first input color that I will call maybe mask. Um, mask input. That will be my name and the name that will be displayed for the user. And I'm making sure you see I took the, uh, the wrong one. It's a color one. So I just have to right click and say, uh, to, 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 to switch input type to grayscale. And now I can replace that. Uh, I'm going to put that here right now. Um, then I'm, I need a second one. Input grayscale in that case, and we are going to call it noise input. This way, I'm going to plug that here. So we are we do have our two have the output. You could name it, but it's not it's it's optional. And what I want to do is the blur grayscale. I want to I want this to be uh, exposed, and with an uh, so I'm going to put an intensity of zero by default. And what I want to make sure is to expose that. So. Expose as new graph input. We are going to um, to call it a blur um, blur mask intensity. This way, zero maximum. I I will put fifty because sometimes it has to be quite strong. And okay, so it should work. What we are going to do is to test it now. Uh, to test it, I'm going to go to, oh, sorry, here, new substance graft test. Empty is fine. I'm going to, I don't need the views, the 3D view. I'm going to drag and drop the one we just made here. You see that I have my mask input, noise input, and out, an output that I can use somewhere else. So let's take a noise like this one. Let's take a pattern like maybe this one and let's plug that. And you see that it works. Uh, we just have the blur mask intensity and I forgot to expose some stuff here in my Instagram scan. I want to expose the position. So I won't rename it for now. We just put a label. Position and contrast, of course, by default, 0 0.5. So contrast, expose, contrast, like that. Just double checking mask, uh, blur position, contrast. Uh, I want to check the position by default. I want to put it to 0 0.5. And it should be reflected directly here. Okay, so I have them here. So now I can choose the contrast and the position and de define my mask. Just want to double check something here. Yeah, it, it blends properly. It, it tiles properly. Okay, so I think we are good. We have seen how to, to make this uh, this mask, you can, uh, of course, use it somewhere else. Like, for example, uh, it should work in uh, in Painter if you need it. Uh, even in uh, right now, in the la latest version of the sampler, you can use uh, this kind of mask um, in, so in some black and white uh, places. So you can take advantage of, of it here. Don't forget to define the, the here. If you go to the uh, base parameter, the attributes, here you can define as a texture generator, for example, and it will work. 
Thanks again for watching and we'll see in the next tutorial. Ciao.